Welcome, welcome, welcome to EdTech Live. Welcome first graders, and we are going to do a sensory play today. Let's get started. Today you are going to act out a day in the life of a Chinese immigrant building the railroad, the transcontinental railroad, in fact. But you might be wondering, what is that? So I have some information for you. The Chinese immigrants played a crucial role in building the Transcontinental Railroad in the United States during the 19th century. So long ago in the 1800s, we live in the year 2023. So this was hundreds of years ago. People in America, this is a map of America, wanted to connect the East Coast so the states over here, to the west coast over here. We live on the west coast in the state of California, right about here. So the people in America wanted to connect the people from the east coast to the people on the west coast. And they wanted to connect it with a big, long train track. This train track was called the Transcontinental Railroad, and it was a huge project. It had to cross all of these states. Many people worked together to build it, but the Chinese immigrants were very important. Chinese immigrants came from China to the United States to work, and they faced some challenges and discrimination but they were skilled and very hardworking. They played a big part in building the railroad. They did tough and dangerous jobs like laying tracks, digging tunnels, and blasting through mountains. Here's a picture of some of the workers working on building the railroad. Look at all the railroad ties that they had to lay. And notice, do you see any pieces of heavy equipment helping them? They didn't have the equipment we have today. They had horses and large animals to help them, but they did not have big shovels or anything to help them. The Chinese immigrants helped the railroad to get finished faster and connect the country. Here they are working again. Again, they didn't have backhoes to help dig. They had to use shovels, and that was very hard work. When the two sides of the tracks met in Utah in 1869, it was a big celebration. So the railroad track started in Sacramento, which is just about an hour and a half drive from Ceres. If we, Ceres is over here and you just drive up north to Sacramento and that's where the railroad started and they built hundreds and hundreds of miles to here. And then some other people started in Omaha, Nebraska and built hundreds and hundreds of miles of railroad car or railroad track until they met together here in Utah. And it was a big celebration when the whole thing was finished. The Transcontinental Railroad made it much easier and faster to travel from one side of the country to the other. It helped with trade and made the United States even more connected. Before the Transcontinental Railroad was here, if someone wanted to visit another state, they either had to walk, ride their horse, or go in a wagon. And we all know that dirt isn't always flat, so it was a very bumpy ride. The railroad made it a nice and smooth ride on a rail car to travel, from one place to another. So thanks to the hard work of the Chinese immigrants, the Transcontinental Railroad became a symbol of unity and progress in America. It's a very important part of our history. Today, we're going to act out what it was like 
for these Chinese immigrant workers to build the railroad. Remember how I talked about before how they did tough and dangerous jobs like laying tracks, digging tunnels, blasting through mountains, so we can reenact or demonstrate what that was like. We're going to do that using a program called Seesaw. So what I would like for you to do is to go to your Clever account. And teachers, you may want to pause this recording and um, get all of the kids caught up or rewind if you need clarification on something. So go to Clever. Once you're all in Clever, then you're going to click on Seesaw. Seesaw, it may prompt you to log in with Google. And I am going to get to Seesaw so I can show you what that looks like. I am not going to go through Clever, but you guys do need to go through Clever. Okay, once you're logged into Seesaw, it might look something like this. If you are not on the Journal tab, I would like for you to click on the Journal tab. We're going to add an entry to our Seesaw Journal. I am going to click on the green circle with the white plus sign that has the word add. We're going to click on add. And we're going to create a video. But before I click on video, I need to gather some supplies um, that I will use to act out um, the Chinese immigrants working hard to build our transcontinental railroad. Now, you may want to get together in a group of students to act it out and you are the actors and actresses, or you may find some things around your classroom to use to act it out with your hands. Now, teachers, that is up to you. Today, since I'm by myself, I have found some supplies like markers, popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, and even some paper to act this out and create my scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my setting, the setting of the story. And I will move my camera here. One second. The setting of my story, sorry, the camera was caught, is going to be essentially the middle of nowhere, the wilderness, right? Okay. Sorry, friends. I have this set up and now, okay, here's, here's my hands. So, um, the setting in my story is the wilderness. They were um, traveling and building parts of the railroad in places no one had ever had ever been. So it's a lot of dirt. And so I have brown paper for dirt and a lot of trees and grass. So I am going to first use this brown piece of paper for the dirt. And I am going to use this green paper right here. I'm going to crumple up some page or some page pieces, tear it, crumple, and this is going to be the vegetation that they had to clear to build a rail to build the railroad. Now you don't have to use the supplies or have yours look like mine, but this is how I am going to pretend the vegetation that needed to be cleared. Okay, so the dirt with the vegetation, here we go. 
Now I have some popsicle sticks that I can use and I have some crayons. So I could even draw out um, something if I wanted to, <clears throat> or maybe I want to use the crayons as railroad ties. And then I have some pipe cleaners here. So maybe I'm going to twist these into um, the Chinese immigrants and I'm going to use the um, color red because um, in the Chinese culture, it is the color of celebration and prosperity. So I can twist this into a person. Okay, so there is one person right there. Maybe it'll stand up on its own, maybe it won't. But you might want to build more people to show all of the immigrants that helped build this project. So I have enough to get started. Let's go back to um, Seesaw right here. And I first need to think of like how I'm going to act this out. So remember, I've told you how they had to do dangerous jobs like laying tracks and digging tunnels and blasting through mountains. So maybe I am going to pretend that they had to dig and move some of this vegetation away. Dig, dig, dig. Maybe I'll use a pipe cleaner or a popsicle stick to dig, 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 dig to make way and then they laid the tracks and I can use these black pipe cleaners as the tracks so I can cut these and I'll use these black pipe cleaners as my tracks. Feel free to use whatever you have like math manipulatives, or you can even just find things in your desk. So then I will show this person laying the track, laying the track, laying the track, laying the track. And I can just retell the story as I'm building it. Okay, that's my plan. So I'm going to clear my board and put it back together. This is how it started. Back to Seesaw, I'm going to click on video. I'm going to click the allow, which the word starts with A, so that I will give it access to my camera. Oh, and let me turn off my webcam. Now video. Oh, there we go. Oops, I lost one of my trees. When I am ready to record, I will click this button right here. Okay, so remember, I'm going to spread out the bit. I'm gonna spread the vegetation, use my person, got it. Okay, um, try to think of what noises it sounded like, recreate those noises um, for the people building it. Here we go. Oh, and I need to click allow for it to use my microphone. It's counting down for me. Long, long time ago in the 1800s, America wanted to connect the East and West Coast by building a big, long train trap. The Chinese immigrants were very skilled and wanted to work. So these people helped build a very important train track for us. They started in Sacramento and they had to clear vegetation to make room for the track. They had to even 
dig, dig, dig the dirt to make it level before they could lay the track for the railroad. They laid hundreds and hundreds of miles of railroad track. Yay, we laid a piece. They sometimes had to dig tunnels and even blast through mountains. When they finally came, to the end of the track in 1869 in Utah, there was a big celebration. Yay! I clicked the pause button when I thought I was done. And I think I am about finished. I just wanted to give a brief overview. overview. Then I'm going to click the done button. I can rewatch my video if I'd like, or I can click on the green check button to say, it's good, I'm ready to show my teacher and the kids in my, the other kids in my class. So I'm gonna click the green check mark up here. And it is all finished. So now it's your turn to record your retelling of the Chinese immigrants um, building and helping America build the Transcontinental Railroad. Thank you so much for joining us on EdTech Live today, friends. I hope you had a wonderful time learning about the Transcontinental Railroad and using Seesaw to do a play, reenact what happened in history. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see